Hello, everybody. Can you believe it? I am here with my buddy, the one and only. Who are you? Let the people know. My name is Urza. Urza Urz, baby. Urz. <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars man Urz from the hall. The hall the himself, hall. man. I tell you what. Every time I smile every time I do something with my buddy Urz. Because how long we've we been talking now, buddy? It's been a minute now. Huh? Well, you you left me on the holla tables, so uh, we still talk though. It's great, it's great. Um, you're one of the only ones I talk to pretty much every other day. We're talking about something. Uh, we're living this content creator life, so no, it's been it's been a great friendship. Yeah, and that's uh, that's a good segue into what this topic is actually about. You like how I'm collecting my first rewards here because I don't log into this game. <laughs> but uh, what we're going to talk about today is a little bit about the content creator life. I wanted to talk to him. And by him, I mean my buddy Urz, because I think me and you, for the most part, from what I've seen, we have pretty parallel experiences and feelings on the game and mobile gaming in general. I think we've agreed on on the, yes. almost everything. Maybe a few things we have a little different, but you know, almost everything. And uh, first and foremost, I want to ask you, how are you feeling about Star Wars right now? Uh, Star Wars in general or Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? Well, let's go, uh, Star Wars in general and then we'll go Galaxy of Heroes. So I am, I am a hundred percent thrilled with where it's going right now. I mean, we just got all this new content between Mandalorian, Fallen Order and Episode 9. There's going to be, I mean, I built my lights. I was bragging about my lights earlier to micro. It looks pretty good. I gotta say, it looks pretty good, man. Next I'm putting my best... Yeah, I'm putting my best foot forward for all this new Star Wars content. So I, I, I don't know. I'm thrilled with just how much we got to talk about. And uh, I just hope one of those three things that I mentioned is good. How are you feeling about it? I'm kind of in the same way. Like Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, I'm kind of like, man, I mean, everyone knows how I feel about that by this point, right? Mm -hmm. Complained enough already. Yeah. But as far as Star Wars itself, I'm actually... I'm kind of excited because the way I feel is The Mandalorian looks amazing, and TV shows for me are the heart and blood of what I like when it comes to media right. and like cinema. So I am excited for episodic series of Star Wars is really what I'm mostly happy for. So for me, yeah, things are looking up. I don't know if you, I'm not going to go into this because I don't want to do spoilers, but I don't know if you saw the leaked ending of episode nine. I, I saw the thumbnail. I'm like, I can't do it. No, I, you don't you shouldn't it. do it. It's not good. Just save the heartbreak <laughs> for when you watch it. All right. But, Don't uh, tell me this. <laughs> but no, it's not good. But okay, so uh, maybe maybe the leaks false. Okay, that's what I'm hoping for. And also, yeah. also, I gotta say, this arm is messing me up. Like normally, I got this crappy stand, and I'm used to like moving my mic all around. But now this thing like bounces, and it's yeah, <laughs> jiggles a little. You gotta bit. juggle it a little bit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, so how about Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? What do you think about how the game's going right now? Because you're a little bit so, more in the heart and blood of it than I am at the moment. I will say, I will say, I feel like the meta has gotten diverse uh, in terms of arena right now. There's a lot of different ways to climb. I feel like relics, uh, despite all the negativity around it, I feel like it's kind of broken things up and it's gotten things to be more diverse. Um, not thrilled about the return of ships to Grand Arena. Uh, obviously, you know, ships has never been my strong suit. Uh, I do think it is a positive step in the right direction for them to go crewless ships. I don't know if you saw that. They have a Y wing now, the Republic based Y wing, and that is now a crewless ship. So that's a positive direction to see things like B wings and A wings and tie interceptors and things like that. Are you I don't know. Uh, go ahead. Are you finding the Grand Arena more enjoyable with relics since it it kind of spreads out the depth of the roster a little bit, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I feel like you, you can. With relics, you can focus on what you want and make it good, and it just overwhelm it with damage. And I don't know. I, I think that tells a fun story in Arena. It's kind of diversified and where... I had a weird situation the other day where I thought I was in squad editor, and I ended up setting my Major Tom, or my resistance team, I call it Major Tom. But, yeah. Uh, Ma I set my control the Major, the major Tom. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I set it on defense, and it got four holds, so... And that's because I have relics on Major Tom, uh, resistance trooper, and uh, Amelin Holdo, uh, both reliced up, so it got four defensive holds. So I think it does stuff like that. It just makes things a little bit more wild card, and there's just, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's better... 
But still, we're going to get to the point where everybody's going to be running the same thing once relics kind of run their course. I guess since I was always like the super at the, you know, I want to be competitive, blah, 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 and the squirey and all that. But when I got towards the end of it, when I was kind of giving up on the game, I started yeah. to kind of be a lot more casual and just enjoy, you know, I put the Zavas on Wampa and Zather Lee and stuff because, you know, why not? And mess around. Right. And, then, and then I was thinking about that. Relics would probably be enjoyable for people like that who you know like you who like tuscan raiders and stuff like you can make them oh, stronger yeah. i guess to some point yeah so. so uh fun fact i was streaming i forgot to opt into gac was streaming community <laughs> accounts and i i i used a set of uh, r7 tuscans and there first shot raider just leveled somebody with an eighty thousand like 80, rifle strength. you're telling yeah. you're telling me tuscan raider okay <laughs> i believe it it was great it was great he went right through a sith trooper i want to say or something like that it was it was fun now someone was uh, i think someone would tweeted at both of us the other day saying have you tried out this new star wars and there's like a lego version of this game going on right yes. now were you telling me you were the one telling me that you tried it out right or yeah, so I streamed it. it. I, str I streamed it for a couple nights, three or four nights, and what I basically got down to it's for Serena, but with Legos and less micromanagement um, in terms of microing your characters around. I mean, <laughs> I'm talking to the microtransaction, <laughs> but uh, it, it, you know, in for Serena, you'd move your hero units around. I think they're going to get to that and add it later in the game, but it's kind of just like drop it and watch them go blow stuff up. It's kind of a weird thing because. It's kind of the same matches play out. It's just not deep enough right now. So you feel like you, you see the same matches over and over. It's kind and of like Clash the, Royale, right? You just... Yes. Yes. You just, it's the same thing over and over. And here's the thing that you'll hate. And I know you brought this up with Pokemon when you covered Pokemon. Uh, it's in uh, vertical mode or... What is yeah, it? Just, Port yeah, just vertical mode. or what, yeah, whatever you call it. Straight up and down. I can't... I don't know what it is about me. But I cannot play games if they're like this only. Like, yeah, I, and it, it looks to... it looks terrible. I mean, so you, so like <laughs> yeah. trying to stream this game. I mean, that basically told the story for me. I tried three or four times, and I was like, "This looks horrible." Streaming it, and you know, I've got my face all over there, and I got the logo, and I got all this other stuff, and it's just like, why would they do this? Like, do they want this game to not have a future? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, okay, so the one other one other game I want to ask you about was Fallen Order, right? Like there, yes. Fallen Order's coming out. There's even uh, the GameStop that's right next to me over here is doing like a costume contest the night of it. And like the winner gets a lightsaber and everything. So I'm going to try the order, like a Tuscan Raider costume or something and go for the fun of it. Yeah, uh, that, yeah that'd, that'd be <laughs> hilarious. Um, but you're going to, you were telling me you're going to do this too, right? You're, you're going to stream the Fallen Order. Yeah, uh, so I I did get the pre order that did you hear they moved it back to Steam so you can get it on Steam now. Oh so really? I was all yeah oh, I was all in for that okay. so I pre ordered it on Steam and uh, they got me for the extra ten dollars for the orange lightsaber <laughs> <laughs> or whatever cosmetic things in games so they got me for that but uh, I don't know man I, I I've I've never I mean we've always talked about as content creators not to get too far into shop here but we've always oh, yeah, talked about ahead. doing let's play stuff and i think that's something we need to get both get good at for you know just the benefit of our channels so this is the one i'm fully committing myself to learning the game 100 percent, every explorable item putting out guides and that whole nine yards i plan on live streaming it pretty hardcore i think you you are as well right um i i'm probably going to live stream it casually on twitch and just plug it in my videos like, hey, guys, I'll be playing through this. If you want to see it, you can come do it. And I'll probably cut it up, maybe hire an editor just to cut it up or something. Because to be honest, it's a lot of hours when you stream the whole game. And I'm yeah. probably too lazy to sit through and cut it all up. But um, yeah, I'm going to give it a <laughs> shot. I'm not going to go as high effort as you are, though, because I mean, look, you got the lights. And I, I just now noticed under your arms, you have like lights on the table, too. Did you build that also? No, no, no. This is my nano, my nano leaf. I used to have it on the wall, and I only had one, so it was not symmetrical. I just moved it over the desk here, so now it's... It, that is it cool. It looks pretty good. No, man, your setup is pretty badass, <laughs> man, I got to say. Thanks, so, brother. Um, oh, one... You've, oh, upgraded, one you, you, you've upgraded your stuff. Your stuff is looking good. Your camera clarity yeah, with it's those getting lights. Better. Well, see, okay, so I did give lights. I actually finally got... Uh, like the the sit up, you know, big box style. And I tell you, when I was putting in those light bulbs, it was like I was installing a nuclear core into a Fallout armor <laughs> set. You know, like you have the. <laughs> it's like, man, how big yeah. are these bulbs, man? How much light do I need in here? I feel like I'm some kind of supermodel, but you know, 
all the all the stuff you have. I had a friend over the other day, and she walked in. She's like, "What the hell is all this?" <laughs> you know, because the whole like, the whole place is just covered in yeah, all this. We're crap. filming tonight, darling, and you're on. <laughs> oh Lord! All right, man. We got any closing any closing statements? What are we what are, what are we gonna play together? I mean, I feel like we've always talked about uh, covering a mobile day. game together. Since I had like two thousand uh, subs or something, we've been chit chatting yeah. about this. It, 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 for me, it's I'm always the problem. It's not micro. It's just my nah, schedule. It's, and it's, being it's not you. It's the games, man. It's, it's trying to ga- find the, the games is the problem. We talked about Diablo Immortal going all in on that together and being the unified front. Yeah. Pick that audience and that game may not come out now. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know about that one. We'll have to see. Diablo 4 is like kind of stealing the spotlight on that a little bit. I, I don't yeah, know well, if you're they're... interested in Diablo 4. And on oh, yeah. PC, yeah but... For sure. For sure, man. For sure. It looks pretty good. I did watch all the BlizzCon stuff. I did watch a little bit of it, yeah. I watched the uh, the announcements. That, you know, and they did like Shadowlands and all that with the World Warcraft. And I don't mm-hmm. know about you, but I tried Classic for like five minutes. And then I'm like, yeah, this is going to take my entire life or I'm going to suck yep. at it. So... Yeah. And I, I, I dabbled. I dabbled back getting back into SWOTOR, uh, the Old Republic, and I played I did that wa- for about... I, I watched you do that a little bit. Um, yeah, I did one and it was fun. It's just, oh man, it's, it's such a commitment to do that when I'm trying to, you know, get ready for Fallen Order. It's just like how much time if can I If I was going to get back into an old Star Wars game, it would either be one of the two. It would either be uh, Jedi Al- uh, was it Jedi Knight uh, 2 Outcast, I think, or yep. it would be a Star Wars Galaxies the emulator they have now where you can so, actually play Star Wars Galaxies in me. Brother, I would be there 100% with you if we could make money off of that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's impossible. I'm just sitting here thinking old Star Wars games. No one watches that garbage. Yeah, I would be out in the, the, the middle of, you know, South Bestine putting wind generators out and harvesting wind energy yeah. <laughs> with you. For the hundreds of thousands of people that want to watch that every single day. Yeah. Uh, well, best my, game ever, guys. Best my game people, ever. we have got to get my boy here, Urs, over the 10,000 mark. I don't know how many people are going to see this. What do you think? 500 people are going to see this video, maybe? at the Maybe 1,000? You never know what the quality of these I'm pumping out these days. You never know. Hey, man. Content is content. <laughs> okay, people. But everyone, I'm going to put in the very top link. to This is to my buddy, Urs. Look at the quality content that he is providing. Go give him a sub. He only needs 200 subs, okay? We can do 200. I believe in you guys. And if we do 200 subs on my next video, I will give you guys a secret surprise intro. Ooh, okay, ooh. there you go. All right. Well, Urs, I love you, man. Thanks for coming on the video, and goodbye. We'll do more of this. We'll Brother, more. always nice to chat with you. Whale Pod, love you guys. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. See you time. Bye-bye.